Hi, right, welcome along to AFTV. Of course, the season has come to an end and normally me and this man will be outside the stadium and sometimes Turkish and we'll be... Yeah, even you oh, sometimes. It's even nice. James. He's Even James here. sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Right. But we normally do player ratings outside the stadium. We've been doing it throughout the season, giving our ratings on players after matches. I thought what we do for this video, seeing as the season's come to an end, is do our season's player ratings. How we've rated each Arsenal player now that the season is over. And when you guys are giving the ratings, I want you to remember the season as a whole, not just the ending. Right, but the season as a whole, yeah, when you're rating the players, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the main players that have featured in the majority of games this season, um, and rate them out of 10. All right, yeah, all good, right? And you guys get involved as well in the comment section. Want you guys as well do a listings of the players I mentioned and give us your ratings for each and every one of those um players as well. You know, I might even send a little prize to somebody who I think has come up with some good ratings in there. So do that, put that in the comment section, like and subscribe here on AFTV. Right, let's start off with the goalkeepers. I'm not going to bother with Leno because he barely featured and surely he's going to be a player that's going to be on the move um, this season. But of course, the keeper that really featured for the majority of the games was... What, what, what you think we should do, Leno? I would have done Leno. He played a couple Carabao Cup Which games. In the FA Cup, I thought he did well, stepped in against... But I thought those three games where we lost, mm. he was like, one of the few... All right, Leno, players. Leno. All right. Chris Leno. Don't think about Leno. Six. Six. Six? Six? Yeah, did fine. Is, is five average? Are we saying five yeah, is... Five is yeah, five is fine. So a bit better than average, yeah. I'm all with you. I think he hasn't played enough yeah, to rate. But when he has come in on with James, he's done a job. So I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd say six as well. I, I think that's fair. Especially that... Was it the Wolves game or the Aston Villa game away when it was 1-0 mm. and he Dylan. made a save towards the mm. end? Ramsdale was a shock exclusion from the side. Mm. That one stands out. So, yeah, yeah. six. I'll say five. I'll say five. I think he's been average. I mean, I don't, I've got enough, I've had enough games for me to really give him a mm. proper concise answer. But for me, five. But, yeah, big mm. up Leno. He's come in and do you know done what? what he needs to do. I'm going to give him a seven. And the reason I'm going to mark him high and give him a seven is that he only came in for a few games, like you said. Mm -hmm. But like you said, I remember him pulling off that save. He'd done well in the games he came in. And he's been so professional this season. This yeah. guy, he was the number one keeper. That's true. And he's been second fiddle. Like, loads of times I see him in games warming up. Yeah. He's never moaning. He's never sulking. He hasn't got his head down. He's yeah. warming up with the other keepers and that. I think for his professionalism alone, because that must be a hard situation. You're the main guy. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you're, you're a bit part. Yeah. Everyone's singing, you know, yeah. England's England's number one to the keeper that's come in yeah. and taking yeah, your play. It must be hard, you and know what I mean? he's younger than him as well. And he's still being totally professional in his outlook. So, for that, you deserve to get a good rating for that. I'm going to give him a seven. Yeah. Um, Aaron Ramsdale, let's start with you, Turkish. So, with me and James done, um, well, we done a show the other day where we rated the signings from last summer. And in my opinion, Ramsdale comes out with the highest rating because he is the most surprising of the lot for me as well. When we first signed him, I didn't expect to get what we got out of him. Mm. Now, if we compare his first half of the season to the second half, yes, there was a drop off. And yes, mm. there is areas of concern, but I don't think that drop off or the areas of concern really added to the um, failure to achieve top four. I think there was scary moments in there with Ramsdale, especially with kicking in the last few weeks of the season. But overall, I'm actually happily surprised with him. So I, I'm going to give Aaron Ramsdale a 7 out of 10. Mm. Mm. So, so. Yeah, I agree with that rating as well. Um, I'm trying to put it in context of, like you said, the whole season. And I want my ratings to be justified between each player I give. So I'm going to go with 7 as well. Ramsdale, I didn't expect to be as good as he was. I was one that was saying I did many lives when he came in about his price tag. And I was like, oh my God, Ramsdale. But... He surprised me. He's had some amazing, amazing games, amazing saves. One at Leicester was incredible. Um, and yeah, I think he's, he's kept us in it for a lot of games throughout the season. He's, he's, one of, he's up there with one of the, the players of the seasons, if I'm honest. A lot me. of our early clean sheets actually come down to him. Yeah. Um, you look at some of the saves he made in that first half of the season and a lot of our clean sheets, yes, defensively we looked a lot more assured, mm. but there was still an excellent save here and there in every game from Ramsdale. Yep. So. No, I agree with you. Yeah. James? I'll go one higher, eight for me. Um, I agree there was a drop-off. And look at some of those near-post goals we conceded, kind of Chelsea uh, around that time. Uh, yeah, they were slightly concerning, but I, I never felt he 
made an error that was like, you know, one of those drop it in his own nets or kick it to a player and we concede. Listen, that nearly happened. Yeah, some shaky moments. He plays the game on the edge. That's what Arteta wants him to do. Um, but an eight for me. Do you know what goes under the radar? And I know we talk about his kicking, but not just kicking and finding player. How many times we actually had an attack because he just got the ball, picked out Martinelli, and just, you know, we went from one end of the pitch to the other. And I think he has elevated our game. So um, an eight for me. I think, I think he's been yeah. very good this season. Eight or nine for me. I'm going to probably go for an eight. Um... Yeah, there was a couple of little, little throughout our whole season. Exactly. Right? Quality, Every exactly. keeper's going to make a, a couple of little errors, but he's been outstanding mm. since he's come in. His kicking's brilliant. Mm. He's made some wonderful saves. His rapport with the fans. Yeah. The way that guy has got the fans behind, you know what I mean? He, he's been, he's been a, great. absolutely brilliant signing. When he first <clears> come in, I was like, do we need a keeper? Yeah. We've got Leno. Why do we need to go and... He's, he's been exceptional, really has been. You That's know. why we haven't missed Leno. Leno wasn't a bad keeper. Yeah. I Leno wasn't a bad keeper at all, but we've nobody's complaining. You won't find one person saying, why did we go and get um, Ramsdale? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I was tempted to give him a nine because I think he's been that good, but I'm going to give him an eight. Yeah, you spoke about Leno's professionalism as well when he, um, when he'd been left outside because of Ramsdale, but equally on the other side, when Ramsdale's been out of the team, he was first to commend Leno when he was, when he had a good performance and, you know, had a good, good save, good clean sheet. So yeah. yeah. He's been an well. integral, he's been, he's been integral quality. part of the squad. He was, he, I think it was the Villa game. He was there. Yeah. yeah. He didn't need yeah, to go. It. That's it. That's, yeah, it. that's yeah. it. That's he didn't it. need to go to the game. He's been, he was True, been a wonderful it. signing. Um, Kieran Tierney. So There's okay. This is really unfair of me. I can't look past his injuries. It's not his fault. No, but you can't. He's not his fault. But, you but, know, but judge but a, be, be judge you a player me, on his injury. You want me to judge a 38-game season? Part of it is how much you're available. Well, you for. just have to judge it on what he played because he didn't mean to be injured, did he? No, good. But that's what I'm saying. He didn't mean to. But I can't help but. But. It plays a part for me that yeah. he wasn't as available. And if it was a one-off, it wasn't his fault was it? I look past. I, it's, it's not his fault, but he's an injury-prone player. This is three seasons in a row we've had him, mm. and he's missed large spells because of injury. It's not his fault. If he's watching this, he's probably thinking, what should we to do? But, but I, when I'm judging a season, I, it does play a part, especially because it, pro it will always take a couple games to get back into it as well in terms of form. I think I'd give him a five because I think when he's played, he's been dependable, and you can see how much we miss him. I don't think he was as good as he was last season. Mm. And again, he, he missed a crucial part of the season. Not his fault, but he did. And I can't help. It's unfair. I know it's Seven. unfair. No, I gave him a five. A oh, five, sorry. Yeah. Five. yeah. Anyone else with me on this injury I'm you, thing? James. I'm fully with you, James. You, I've, I've been saying it for a while. Him and Partey. Yeah, you have. You've been him and Partey, I think that the injury is, is a big thing. That's, you know, dampened their, their season. You have to give them a low, low scoring, low score rate. And I'm going to say five as well. I'm actually edging more. I'm at four at one point. I'm kind of four or five. I'll go with five to give him the benefit of the doubt because he is a good player when he's in the side. We definitely do play better football. But the injury, you can't look past the injuries. You can't. I know you can say it's not their fault, but players can work or not, in my opinion, can work or not becoming getting injured. Yeah, I'm, I'm with both of you on that. I think... Robbie's right, it's not his fault, but, you know, the second season in a row to cost us in that position. Yeah. There's a sour taste in my mouth. And this is coming from someone who said Tierney's the, the outstanding candidate for captain. You know, um, it was just a shame he got that injury at the end. James yeah. is right. When he, you know, when he got injured, you could see how much we missed him. Mm -hmm. You could see the difference um, in defensive structure and organisation. I'm with you. I'm going to say five, but <clears throat> it, it could very well be a four season yeah. because... If I... If it affects the team so much. Jesus Christ, you lot are harsh. Robbie, it's the team so much. I'll tell you what, yeah, you lot... Listen. You, let's, let's say, for example, you're off work. You get ill. You're off work for, um, you know... A third three, of the four, year. F you're off work for three months. <laughs> we were doing an appraisal on you. But when you was in work, you were good. But I'll sack you. Because, you know, you was off for three months. Mm, but if I was ill and I was out, I don't know, say if I was ill and no, I was no, hold on, you're, and you're, I'm doing posting of me. No, he's not, he wasn't posting, by the way, but I'm just saying if he could have helped himself, I think you can prevent being an injury prone. No, no, hold on. Wait, I wait, slightly wait, disagree wait, with that. Did, did you hear You're off, forget how it's happened. Mm. You're ill, you're off sick, you broke your ankle or you twisted, you know, you're off for three months. When you're at work, you're great. But you've been off for three months in your appraisal, 
I say you're not up to the standard. You're below average. You get sacked. Yeah, but we're not saying that. Fair enough. No, we're saying five know. out of ten he did No, fine. he said four out of ten. That's and so did he. Right, well, go for him. Oh, oh, right. Right. Chill, 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 chill It's not his fault, you see. So what would you rate his season, then? I, 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 three I give, seasons, Rob. He's missed 47 games. It's not his fault. He don't mean to miss them. I know, but it's affected our team so much. Yeah, well, he did. Take it's a f- the company and, and the company plummet. All the performances dropping, all the levels dropping. Our success of the company because I'm there. Sacking. Well, you think? I think we need a replacement. For me, I think we need a replacement for Tini anyway, and that's just me. So we sack him because of his injury. I had to find a replacement. <laughs> so replace. I, 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 I think Tini, we need a replacement for Tini. I personally right. do. It's not Kieran Tini's fault. That he's injured. When he has played, when he's been fit, my assessment, I give him... I don't give him a seven. I didn't think he started the season. I didn't think he started the season very well, to be honest. No, I agree. He had a bit of a shaky Mm. start to the season, but then he kicked in and he was exceptional, right? And we missed him. I agree with you guys. We missed him badly. Mm -hmm. Probably would have got top four if we had a fit Carantini, but it's not his fault. I can only judge him on the, what he was doing whilst he was playing for us, and he's fit. It's not his fault. Right, he's injured. Big, rela- reliability comes into it. He's lying though. in a hospital bed. Who, thumbs up. I've just had a surgery. You think he wants to do that? Who said it? Of Lee, Guna Lee said it. The best ability is availability. That is that is facts. So it's me, not his fault. Uh, but over three, it's none of us, the team so but much. But none of us have said it's his Come fault. On. But we're judging what he has given Arsenal Come over on. a season. No, but in the time that, just in the, in the time that he played, in the time that he played, what did you think? In the time he played, honestly. Uh, maybe a six then. I actually, I think he was. I you're, thought, you're judging, I the, guy, he was judging good. the guy off, off of injury. Exactly. Right, James. And the, no, six nobody six. wants to be. He wasn't as good as last season. Last season, you felt we can't score a goal without Tierney and the team overlapping doing what he no, does. No, 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 listen, I didn't feel that this we, season. We've seen without him how bad we've been, right? At the back. He yeah. has been an integral part of the team. As I said, started off a bit shaky, but then I thought after that he was ex- not just good, he was exceptional, right? <laughs> he was very, very good. And then the injury to him. A seven, Rob, yeah? A seven. Yeah. But listen, when you when you mark party, but you, you but better take into consideration his injury I, as well. I, listen, you better not, take when we get to the It's a player's party. injury. It's got nothing. It's not his. I the will, only can way I say that. I'm saying this is false. The only way I say that is if a player, right, is crying off. Well, guys got had to have surgery. No, I can I, I add mean, one thing about that, though? And correct, please correct me in the comments because I might be wrong about this. But wasn't there a story that. He had played with a bit of an injury yeah, and then went to Scotland already way, injured yeah. and then came and played for them and then came it's back. It's exceptional like, for Scotland as well, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, okay, but then right. if you if you if you are playing through injuries, well, that is a mismanagement of your body. That's no, the one it, thing I say. I might be wrong. I don't I know if we, we don't know if, if that's facts, but we don't you know, speak to you speak to a lot of players from back in the day, they'll tell you that you know they played a lot of their careers through injury. Listen, I'm sure, I'm sure physios know what they're doing. Sometimes a lot players, of players have just, to play through injury. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to play through, you're not hundred percent, this thing's bothering you. We'll, you're saying to yourself, All right, yeah. got a little niggle here, but I'm gonna get the operation at the end of the season. It happens take, all the time. I have to take availability though, Rob. Yeah, yeah. By the way, we all love Tierney. He, he is Turkish That's choice captain. Big, yeah, he's a big and guy. I adore the guy. I know he's a him too, but... Players now being judged on injuries. Because let's, right. let, let's, let's, say, let's say I asked you, yeah, rate Abu Dhabi for, for Arsenal. His injuries ruined it, so we can't really rate him, even though... I you could, know, I could only rate him. You would say he's been an A. And if you said could, seven for him, I get when he plays. I, could, I, I yeah. can only rate him on the time he plays, right? Kieran Tierney doesn't mean to get injured. In the times he was playing for Arsenal... He was exceptional. I truly believe if he'd have continued till the end of the season, we probably would have got top four. No, I think that too. I, you agree, know what that. I agree with that. So what's that, seven and three fives? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, you, you, said, you, you I said, said four. Fives. Four I you said, gave I, We said we, I, I can understand. I was edging towards four, but I'm going to give him a five. Okay, and Ben White. Insane. Ben White now. Let's start with you. Benjamin Very Blake. available. I like him a lot. <laughs> He didn't get injured? No. Nope. <laughs> well, he did oh, in the end. Benjamin White for me. Oh, Why'd you start with me? Why'd you flip up? I wasn't ready for you to come to me straight away. Let me go. Be ready, man. When I'm around, be ready. (laughs) Be ready at all times. Um, Again, a lot of this is is surprise factor for me. I think that plays a big part. So for me, I'm going to give Benjamin White a seven. I didn't expect him to be um, the centre back he was. Um, I can't put him higher than Gabriel because for me, Gabriel is probably one of the, the, the. best um one of the best players of the season so he's gonna be a seven for me i like ben white plays out the back well um his interception has been incredible yeah no he's been yeah seven i think seven's a fair fair enough score i'm just trying to think of anything else okay 
James? Yeah, I'll give him a seven. This is a really good example of where, you know, we did the signings rating show. What do we give him? Like a five? I mean, I don't know what you got. I gave him a five. And that's because you're thinking £50 million price tag, all those you things. He lives up to that? Um, no. Almost. No. But I, but I think he's had... I do think he's had a good season for us. He goes to ground a bit too easily and there's areas of his game, I think in one-on-one defending, maybe it can improve. But I think you can see we're Arsenal a better team playing out the back. I think we press higher, better, because him and Gabriel have the pace to recover. Um, and I've liked, yeah, I've liked him, seven. All right, seven, Turkish. I'm on the other end of the spectrum with Ben White, you know. I know the 50 million price tag's not his fault as well, but He's 23 years of age, he's come in a ball-playing <clears> centre-back, and in all honesty, I haven't seen enough ball-playing from him. Uh, he, has he really aided our transition as much as we thought that you know, he would coming in as a ball-playing centre-back? Um, I, I recently saw Saliba's dribbles compared to all of our defenders. Saliba's made more dribbles than all of our centre-backs combined. That's part of playing at the back. You know? mm-hmm. So Ben White, OK, is his playing at the back style, what, long balls over the top? Well, how many long balls over the top have we benefited from this season? We haven't much because we're slow in the transition. So Ben White's come in, we've conceded more than last season. And it's not on him, but also our attack hasn't been aided either. You look at the numbers, it's not really that better off than last season. So I'm going with the price tag, the expectation, four. Four? Four. Oh, jeez. Raw, OK, raw. Um, what do you give him, seven, seven? seven yeah. Hmm. I think I'm going to give him a seven as well. I think he, um, for his first season, I think he's done well. I think, um, I hear what you're saying, he does slow it down. It does annoy me sometimes that he gets the ball, he put his foot on yeah, it, yeah, yeah. speed it up a bit. But sometimes when I have seen him drive forward, I've been pretty impressed. Yeah, I think for a first season, the partnership that he formed with Gabriel was a good partnership. I, I always felt pretty confident with them two in there. I think for his first season, I'm going to give him a seven. Like you said, the price tag, if you said to me, has he lived up to a 50 million price tag? No. But it's, to me, seven bordering on a six. But probably because it's his first season, I'm going to edge him a seven. Um, Turkish, Gabriel. Better, the better defender for me this season, but also he's had his faults. Um, but he's developing well. He's still young. He didn't come in with that massive price tag. I'm happier with Gabriel than, than I have been Ben White this season. I guess because I've expected more from Ben White. Not because of the tag, but because of the ball playing abilities. Gabriel's cost us at times this season. He's been iffy, but overall I'm happy. Um, and I'd say, I'm tempted to say seven, but it could be a six. But let's say, let's say six. Let me, let me go with six. We've, six. Conceded, we've conceded a lot of goals I this know, season, I you know. I thought it is, 61 goals. No, not 61 goals, sorry, 48 we've goals. We've conceded a lot of yeah, goals we're, this we're season. Eight for eight for goals conceded this year. Okay, like, that's the only thing that knocks, knocks him down for me. But you but say Gabriel, the only thing, but defence is there not to concede goals. So that only thing is bad, massive. But Gabriel's been, he's, come on. I'm not blaming just one man. But if we start giving Ramsdale sevens, eights, Ben White sevens, Kieran Tierney sixes and sevens, Gabriel sevens, you'd think we've conceded 30 goals. We've conceded a lot of goals this season, so why have we conceded a lot of goals? Injuries and quality, I guess. Hmm. Okay. okay. I'm where gonna you, go, where I'm, you going? I'm going with eight. I'm going with eight. I actually was, <laughs> I, really, I was edging to nine because I really like Gabriel, but I've been a fan of Gabriel from when he stepped foot at Arsenal. Um, and he's got I, some important goals, Gabriel. I should have added that. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, he's top, uh, not top goals. Five course, goals. Five goals, more yeah. than Eddie Nketi, more than Lacazette, more than Aubameyang. He's been, he's a top scoring goal, uh, centre-back in, in the league. Yeah? Mm. Yeah? So... Do you know what? Nine. Thanks for that. <laughs> I like Gabriel. I'm going so, with nine. Nine. So you're I'm going really... with your fellow defenders. <laughs> Go, huh? You're going with your fellow defenders. Yeah? Of course he is. I'm, I'm with your fellow defenders. I'm a, stri- I'm a striker. Oh, you're Miller, moving Miller slow, Miller Tower. Oh, you're moving slow. <laughs> sake, man. Oh, oh, you should be running on this joke. I'll sat there waiting. Late on just say, no, when's he going to be on it? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a striker. Uh, eight for me. Yeah, five goals from set pieces. Don't take this for granted, man. They're big. Yeah. You know, centre backs who can score, you well, give you, you that edge on set pieces. Mad, isn't it? We've improved massively from set pieces at both ends. We rank very highly in the league for scoring and conceding. Um, I rise to seven because of the goals, but yeah, sorry. Yeah, and, and I think, I think, I hear what you're saying about the goals conceded, but have we ever, I don't know, I, I've never looked at the team and gone, we conceded loads of goals because of the defence. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, for me, it's because the midfield can't get on the ball. Look at the Newcastle game. We lost 2 0, got battered. I thought Gabriel's one of our better players mm. because the whole 90 minutes, I thought Ben White scored an own goal, played quite well in that Newcastle game. 
they just got battered for 90 minutes. Yeah. How often do you see, listen, I'm not comparing them to Van Dyke, right? But you never see Van Dyke battered for 90 minutes because his team have the ball, yeah. because they're on the front foot, because they're playing, they're the better side. And I think Gabrielle and White largely have stepped up to it when you think holding out um, at Aston Villa, holding out at Wolves, holding out at Leicester, the draw at Anfield in the, the cup. cup yeah. I think they've stood they've up to some stern quite. tests and done quite well. So, That's the yeah, an eight for me. I take your point on the defence. So as a, as a team, collectively, we've not improved defensively much. But I think the individuals have mm. been doing their job more. Eight for me as well. I think he's had a good season, very mm. good season. No wonder a lot of top teams are, 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 are sniffing around him. Yeah. He's been one of our best players this season, consistent, still very young as well. Um, like you said, we've defended set pieces a lot. Up till the last couple of games, we were defending set pieces. We were one of the best in the league. And he scored a lot of goals, important goals. Yeah, definitely at eight for me. And Gabriel um, and Militao, by the way, as a partnership, would be so good. Just, <laughs> just, just, just little All right, right, next guy, <laughs> Rob Holding. He has played quite a lot of games towards the end of the season. I'm going to say... I know he's going to, a lot of people are going to be blinded by the performance at um, yeah. Tottenham. But remember, he did also have a lot uh -huh. of good performances in there as well. Um, leading up to that, leading up to that Tottenham game, I never heard nobody saying, oh, oh I don't want Holding to play in that game. Did you hear anybody? Nah. Right? But Rob Holding. F five for me, um, which is fine. And, and listen, the Spurs game was bad. Like, that was a bad, 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 bad day for him. Um, but I, take, I, I credit that throughout most of the season, he's been called upon the famous 5-3-2 that Arteta likes <laughs> um, to see out games. And he has stood up to those tasks. The so one thing I say is, if you're a centre-back... I've never been a centre-back and I've obviously never played anywhere near this level so I don't want to say it's the easiest thing to do but I've seen a lot of defenders look good when it's low block, defend short spaces you know, a lot of players thrive under that so I'm not going to give him loads of credit for that but when he has come in, he's done a job um, but that Spurs game was bad so five for me OK, so three for me um, Wow Three? Yeah mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's really, it's, do you know what, it's, it's harsh because um, I know we're looking over the whole season, but I have such, it's stuck in my head just over the whole time he's been here. Um, and I've, I haven't really, rate, I've never really rated Rob Holden. One, we one defender, I don't think he's great at. I think when he stepped in at times, he's been good this season. But I still, there's images of me, him getting out jumped by Raheem Sterling. I know it was last season, but still, like, for me, I don't <laughs> well, really this season. season. I know, I know, but for me, Rob Holden, I just don't think he's a good defender. I think, one, like I said, 1v1. Poor guy, man. Man, I've, I've, I've never been too, too right, impressed three. with Rob Holden, yeah. Turkish? Yeah, I'm probably, I was going to say two, but let me not be Mr. I was going to say two. Um, well, but listen, I, I, three. I, I, people are right. He's come on in February, I think in March, you know, he's aided a back five. He's looked part of a solid foundation there. And yes, all good and well, but his worst game this season, you know, and compared to his best game, the best game pale, um, pales in comparison to, to his worst. You know, his worst game was that Tottenham game. Mm. And for one of our experienced defenders yeah, to go out like that, I'm sorry, but I don't care what you've done in coming off the bench to secure a clean sheet in February. When push comes to shove and we needed to rely upon you, you let us down. Even against Everton, there was a ball across the box for that second goal. Oh, he's let it go. He, he let it go. He, yeah, he faked it. And for a defender of experience, mad. that's mad. It didn't mean nothing in the end. Why didn't it mean nothing? Because you got sent off a couple of games ago and you threw that Tottenham game away. <laughs> Much better articulated. Mm. So, so Turkish, you know what? For, uh, uh, that Spurs game, the only thing that slightly lets him off for me is I think it was an instruction from Arteta to follow him. Everywhere. You, you don't surely in your right mind think, I'm going to follow Son all the way around the pitch, up to the halfway line, up to the, the right wing and all that. If... It's not an instruction from the manager. So, so like, he, it, he, yes. The shoulder barge definitely wasn't Arteta, though. Well, listen, I blame him 98%. I'm just saying I do think a little bit was okay. instruction. All right. Every people judging man off of one man judging a man one for one game. Another man judging a man off of last season. Okay, before, no, no, hey, the whole pit, the no, no. So he judged him off of one game. game right, you, ju right, you, if, ju if you, judge, if, you judge a man if off If I judge holding off of that game, he'll be getting a zero right, right? now. I was saying, you judge him off of one game. You're judging a man off of last season. This is last season. Sterling I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a six. He's, I, I would probably have given him a seven, because I think that every time he's come in, every time he's been called upon this season, the majority of times that he's stepped up again, been very professional, has come in and done a job. 
the Tottenham game, I mark him, he loses a lot of points for because it was such a pivotal game. And it was what he did, it was ridiculous. As an experienced player to get sent off, then to then that meant that he missed the other games coming up. We meant that we had to go into the Newcastle game with two unfit centre backs because of it. A lot of people missed that. Um, so actually, I think I give him a five when I think about it. So he's got to be marked down for that. But if if I if I took that out, the other games in which he came in in this season, he did all right. He was not. I agree. Yeah, he did. Fine. He was not poor. He, he, you know, what I mean, he came in and he done a job. But that Tottenham game really did let him down. Yeah. So I give him a five. Um, Tomiyasu, right back. Um, the old availability department. Yeah, let's oh, let's, yeah. let's go with the uh, debate comes back. You saying then. four? No, Cause no. Because he, he was out injured? No, no. But the, the thing is, with Tierney, it, it, he, his is double down. Like, this is the second season in a row Tierney's injuries have cost us. With Tomiyasu, it's his first season. And I get it. We don't really know what happened with that injury. It's a bit of a mystery. What it's happened? A calf injury. Calf. Yeah, calf. but he was out for so long. It, it was a major injury. What seemed like a calf well, injury. Well, he's been missing for half the season. Exactly. Right? So, um, but but a good signing. I mean, look, he's come in again. No expectation. You heard what that guy from Sky was saying. He was offered to every club. He's not really a right back. All of that banter, and he's come in and been solid. Um, the availability thing goes against him. It similar, does. similar to rate in the transfer window last year. I gave him a six in that, and I'm going to give him a six in this. If he was available more, I'm sure he's touching sevens, eights. Okay. So, um, yeah, so seven for me. Um, I love Tommy. I think his quality is just superb. One v one defending is solid, solid in the air. Um, he's just. I feel so much more secure when he's in the side. He he mm. deserves a seven. His availability puts it down to a seven. It would have been eight, but. Because I think he's superb. He's going to have a great career, hopefully at Arsenal. Um, but yeah, for me, a seven. Um, I can't even think of any bad performances only from him, if I'm honest, when he's been available. I can't think of anything. That Struggled he's at Anfield, I think, mm. and, I think and in that Leeds well. game. Cucurella. He's, 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 had, he's had maybe two or three games where you've thought, he's, you know, he's been worked harder. But generally, I agree with you. I feel so much safer when he's so in the team. Um, seven for me. Seven. Yeah. And again, it, the availability comes into it. And with Turkish, it kind of be an eight or... Would have been eight. Dare I say, one of the players of the season if you've been fit 100%. all year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, I look at him, I just think, it's so nice to have a real complete defender. Mm. Slotting at left back didn't look a problem for him. Had to slot to centre back in the North London derby when it all crumbled around him and he did well. I like him. Eight for me. Again, it's not his fault he's been injured. Again, we suffered badly with him being out because whilst I think Cedric come in and done a good job, you know, exceeded what I thought, but he's not Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu, great defender, good in the air. The only thing the only thing I'll probably say next season I want to see him be a bit better coming forward. Um but I think what a sign in. Yeah. It's not his fault that he's been injured. Um I'm I, gonna I'm gonna give him an eight. I think he's gonna be a centre back for us going forward, you know. Mm. I'm good by it, William Cedric, right, but um, four. Cedric oh. who, who, who came in a lot and um, well was in you know featured for half of the season because of the injury. Yeah, James. Uh, I'll give him a five. It could have been a little bit more, um, but five is fine. And I think that's what he's been. And he's been fine. Look, you, the fact that we're sitting here saying we feel we miss Tommy Asu tells you that he, he's not been quite, uh, I, don't to, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, listen, we still, we felt Tommy Asu's presence yeah. missed, but, uh, but I still think Cedric's done fine. Um, and I think, so he, I think he offers more going forward. Five. Yeah. Cecil, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If, it's a bit hard. Um, I'll go, I'll go six. Um, I'll, I'm rating him as a backup. He's a, he came into the season as a backup. When Tommy Asu got injured, he came in and done well. He doesn't have that Tottenham game to bring it down like Holden did. So as a backup to that position, six. Yeah, I'm, I was edging between five and six. I'm going to go with six as well. And I'm going to give him, I was going to do five. I'm going to say six as well because he's a player that is also very professional. When he's not in the side, don't really hear from him, comes in. Come and does his does his job. I think, yeah, I like Cedric. I've been a big fan of Cedric, and yes, I have missed Tommy Asu, of course. Tommy Asu is a, a level above, but that's why he's got a higher rating than Cedric. So for me, six. Yeah, I give him a six as well. I think he's come in. He's done a really good job since he's come in. He's not the answer. He's, he's you see the drop off in levels when he comes in. Mm. Um, but 
I think when he has come in, he's done very... I, I think all the players who've... Most of the players who've come in have stepped up. I, 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 I do like him, um, but we need better. But I've, I'm going to give him a six. A couple of shaky moments in some games, but on the whole, I think he's done a really good job coming in. And sometimes... Do you know what? I think if we had a better striker and a mm. target man, some of his deliveries, which yeah. are, but that is one area where he's a lot better than Tommy yeah. Asu. Defensively, right? he's, he's, some he's of his deliveries have been superb and there's no one on the end of it. Yeah. I feel sorry for him. We could be talking, if we, if we had a target man striker, a good one, we could be talking about maybe us saying, well, you know what? Maybe you should start every game. Yeah, but he whips these great balls into the box and there's never anyone yeah. there. Yeah, even against Everton, he done the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nuno Tavares. This should be fun. Um, can I give two? You, you, let's, you, let's, can let's, I give two ratings? Let's start with us. Uh, let's start with um, Turkish. Came in, no one expected nothing. Done a job. People were questioning with a team he should come back in. You yeah, know? at the start that, of the that, season. That feels like a long time ago now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the second half of the season, well, actually, towards the end of the last calendar year, he had that Liverpool game where it didn't, you know, about, yeah. shit started to hit the fan for him. This calendar year, every time he's come in, it seems like it's a problem. Um, he, he's, he's cost us at times this season. You know, I've mentioned holding costing us. Tavares has cost us as well. Yes, he's a newbie. This is his first season. Did I? It's hard. You know what? Tavares, for me, push comes to shove, free. Can I give him both an eight and a two? <laughs> I feel like that's what he... I feel like that... I don't no. Like, <laughs> you know, sitting on the fence, you know what I mean? What are you no. giving him? Four. Just below fine. What about you? It's funny, you said about players that have come in, you changed your wording. You said they've, they've, they've stepped up. You meant to say everyone has, but he's changed it to some have. I'll, I'll be intrigued to see what player you think players didn't come Probably in. this guy. This will be one, this will definitely be one of them. But for me, Tavares... I'm going to go four. I'm going to go four. Um, like that, that time, obviously, you mentioned there, there was time where was questioning Kieran Tini coming back in. I think offensively, he's very raw. Um, he's unpredictable, he's dynamic. I think it just takes a bit of time. I think it's, it's going to take a bit of time. Uh, uh, him being dragged off twice after being subbed on or being dragged off before half-time, that wouldn't affect, affect his confidence and whatnot. But I think, you know, I still, I still like Nuno Tavares. I, don't, I, I wouldn't give up on him completely. I really wouldn't. That's why I'm going to give it a four um, okay. for me. I'll give him uh, I'm going to give him a five, right? Because like you said, at the start of the season, mm. when he came in, he was so good that there was a lot of people saying that Tierney shouldn't get his place back. Yeah. I remember even me saying that yeah, at one time. Yeah, he so played right. well. I think the guy had been mismanaged this season. I, I, I saw him in pre-season and I remember at that time saying, raw talent, yeah, raw. Yeah, he did, he did. Raw, you know what I mean? Very. You could see it, yeah. right? But I thought that dragging off of him in that game and then the dragging off again ruined his confidence. I see a guy, even when I was watching the game against Everton, I see a guy picks the ball up, goes on some blistering runs and then at the end of it, his confidence is shot mm -hmm. because he's worried what the crowd going to yeah, think, yeah, yeah. what's Arteta going to think. So he just goes for power instead of being composed and placing the ball. Or I saw in that Tottenham game, him not wanting to go on any runs because he's thinking, what if I give it away? What's the manager going to think? What's the players going to think? You know, it's a young player. He's very raw. I feel his confidence has been knocked. He's a guy who needs his confidence built up. I think I'm not too happy how Arteta dealt with him this season. I think he could have dealt with him better and maybe he might have had a more consistent player. But for his first season in, in, in English football, he's got a lot to learn. He's got a lot of talent. But he's very, very raw and he's got a lot to learn. Maybe a loan move on for Nuno Tavares might help him. Or, actually, the fact that we've got Europa League football might help him a lot. Yeah. That he might be in those early rounds, be able to play in those sort of games and that. But certainly a talent, but very raw. I'd give him a five. Um, Thomas Partey, James. Um, this guy, when he has played, has been really, really good. Um, but again, I'm going to be consistent on the availability thing because Two? he, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because again, it's and Turkish summed up so well with Tierney why it's different to Tomiyasu. It's now two years. How many injuries he had? Seven. It's not his fault. I know it's not his fault. But for me, availability plays a part when I'm judging what he's given to the season. So I'll give him a seven 
and it probably would have been again an eight or a nine if he'd stayed fit because I think he's been that the City and Liverpool performances you know we talk about doing it against the best can you turn up on the big nights and he did yeah, um, for me Thomas Partey for me I'm, I'm giving him a six and again it's, it's the availability thing as well for me it really is and he came when he came just before he obviously went out for injury we saw the Thomas Partey that we've all been wanting but I think it's just it's just taken so long to see and um again yes yeah, it's, it's, inj it's injuries but, injuries. but the, the, it's, a, it's a problem for the oh, stuff for goodness sake. whose fault is it then? but rob this is but it's it's I'm my hamstring. the scoring of it though because if you, you, you you're playing a game of football you pull it hamstring like that bloody Cecil man he's gone injury and, prone he's gone and pulled thing, it again yeah. it's all his fault yeah it's a serious injury bring the your injury fault, prone yeah? player can yeah, pull a hamstring it's your fault it's not your, I'm not saying it's their fault. But yeah, I'm calf saying, injury, I, that's your fault. I'm not saying it's their fault, Rob, but it's definitely a factor for why their score is No, no, no. Low. If you pull your no, hamstring. You're, they, uh, there's two different answers here. I'm not saying it's his fault he's getting injured, but it definitely plays a factor in your overall scoring. That's a, of course it does. All right. Of course it does. So what are you giving him? Six. You know I'm right as well. Ah, I'm not going to talk about availability. You know what I think about that. But to be honest, uh, been I rated morning. Thomas Partey highly coming into this club. Do I rate him as highly as I did then? No. And I've got to be honest with myself, even when he plays, for me, he's been average. Mm. He's had a couple good performances here and there. He hasn't had a great performance in an Arsenal shirt. And his injuries have cost us. That's I don't want to right, delve man. on that, but I expect so much from Thomas Partey. And when I look at Odegaard coming in last January, 21, 22 years of age, and he's already making noise for captaincy, I look at Partey, who was at Atletico under Diego Simeone, who's been here longer, and I'm wondering to myself, why are you not a candidate? Not that I'm saying he should be, I'm just wondering why. You're, of, you're older, you've been at a higher level, you've been under a world-class manager like Diego Simeone. Why are you, maybe because you've just come here for the ride. Yeah, I'm changing That's what I'm starting to get five. worried about with Partey. I'm going to Thank say you. five and hope yeah, for the I'm best next season, well. but five for me. I think you've been very harsh. I, I, I'm going to give him a seven, like what James gave him. I thought, again, if he would have stayed fit until the end of the season, I have no doubt we would have got top four. Mm -hmm. The quality of this guy, I saw a lot of good performance. I thought at the start of the season, he took his time to get going. Again, this is one of the things that when you're recovering from injuries. And then after that, the guy was excellent. And then... You just he, said he struggled to get going because of the injuries. He struggled to get going because of the injuries. That yeah. plays a factor, but it's not his yeah. fault. Right? Yeah. And then when he got going, he was excellent. He put in some big performances what against performances, top... Mm. What performances? Do you remember Man City? Yeah, okay. He bossed the mid. If so, it, 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 tell me in a, when, when other yeah, players have bossed the midfield against the top teams. <clears throat> he did it against but Liverpool we, we look, and yeah, Man City. We, we lost against Man City. Lost against Liverpool. I hear what you're no, saying. no, but he's, he's not a one man team, but he bossed it. And he's a quality player, and the drop off yeah. when he come out, he's there's oh, a lot of things. There's a lot of Mohamed El Nenny is not Thomas Partey. Level, but he, but Thomas he, Partey can pick a ball up, and he can, he, he, if he doesn't see a pass, he doesn't lose it. He holds on to it. He can beat three, four players and put players in. Four players. Well, have you not seen that? I wouldn't say beat three. I think well, you, you, you surely are not comparing Mohamed El Nenny. I'm not comparing to Thomas Partey. You're going like these, these Thomas pa of Mohamed El Nenny is a safe player. Thomas Partey is a player that will take a risk. That's what I like about him. That's what we lack in midfield. We have in our yeah, midfield Robbie, safe players. El Nenny, Xhaka, safety, safety, safety. That's why people say sideways, sideways, because not that they're doing anything particularly bad, but it's all safe. And if you're a good team, you can set up and deal with that. A player like Thomas Partey is harder to deal with because he can do safe, but he can take chances. He can thread a pass and break the lines. Who else have we got that can do that from them deep positions? We miss this guy big time, big, big time. For me, it's a seven. It's unfortunate about the injuries that's happened to him. I think him and Tierney were fit. Top yeah, four I agree with cool. that. Um, yeah. Next player, Saka. Let's start with you. Yeah, my player of the season. Um, nine. Nine. Yeah, my player of the season. I, I, I could talk about Saka all day. He's been superb. Um, a player that teams have to, when we're playing against Arsenal, they have to prepare for Saka. They, they double up, they triple up, they quadruple up. He's dealt with all of that. He's ridden injuries. He's lasted a full season it, as well for me. Some may be like, oh, his performance has dropped off, but that's dropped off to the level I expect of Saka, which is extremely high. Um, but Kaya Saka for me, player of the season, um, nine. I love him. I hope we get to keep him mm. going forward. He's been Turkish. close. Eight for me. Um, one, the player of the season for me as well, but eight for me. Um, 
I, I think he's had a great season, developed well, and that, that, that rate in his base of him being a youngster, his output's been great. Um, when called upon, he's, he, he's won games for us off his own back. But I, I've also found that throughout the season, whether it's because we rely upon him too much, you know, too much pressure on his shoulders, he has gone missing at times. The same can be said for every youngster in the side, which leads me to believe that it's a youngster issue, not necessarily a personnel. Um, but yeah, eight, eight for me. Okay. There's still room for improvement, for sure. Echo all that, eight. Yep, I think I echo exactly what you say as well. No, I'm going to give him a nine, though. I echo what you say, but I'm going to give him a nine. I think he's has been our best player this season. He'd be my player of the season as well. He needs more protection. He, you know, but yeah, what's sure. happened is because we haven't had as many other players as good as him, teams have been able to double, treble him up. Yeah. When, you know, in the really big games. Um, yeah. But he's been our shining light. He's been. He's only twenty. Yeah. He's done it for oh, England. He's, he's done it. He's played so much. Played the most games for. You know, um, we we should have managed him better if we would have brought a couple of players in, which we didn't. But he's been exceptional. Um, order guard, James. Ooh. Um, seven. That feels harsh. Uh, seven. Because I don't think he's been as good as Saka, but I still think he's been really good. I don't really know what more to add. Seven. Okay, seven. Six for me. Six. Um, a bit underwhelming first season for me. Um, at times you can see his real quality, but again, struggled for consistency. Some games, the game just goes past and you wonder, did Odegaard play in that game? And yes, it's because of the transition, but yeah, I, I need to see more. So six for me, which is above average, but... Yeah, eight for me, Martin Odegaard. I like Martin Odegaard. Um, took the capacity towards the latter end of the season. I think he led well. He needs um, to start shooting more. That's 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 def that's a fact. That's true. That is true. But um, apart from that, his his ball retention, we always speak about it. Just the quality, I think he's superb. Eight for me. I give him an eight as well. I thought he had a good season. I don't think he's been missing. There's been the odd game, but he's I, got I, one I, assist I, I in think... December. Huh? I think he's got like one assist since December. Or I think he's like. had a good season. He's had impact on games. He's he's scored a couple of goals. He needs to score more. Yeah, he does need to shoot more. Um, but he scored a few goals. Said he wanted to see more goals from midfield in this team. But he's there's been more than last year. Um, and I think he's going forward. He's going to be a very important player for Arsenal. Yeah. There's more to come. But yeah. I was pleased with him this season. I, I yeah, pleased with him I as a, as a signing. You know, um, 35 million. There's a lot of people at the start of the season saying get Buendia. Well, who's had a better season? Him or Buendia? Yeah, yeah. He'd be miles better than Buendia. Um, so, all, all the golf for me, he's had a good season. Uh, Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, Emil Smith-Rowe. Oh, this one's tough. This one yeah. is hard. It's really tricky. Um, oh, he fell off towards the end. I'm going to go with... I'm being, being nice here. I'm going to go seven. I'm going to go seven. I think the goals um, come off the bench, plays a big part in that. Um, yeah, scored a lot of goals for us this season. Has has been imperative to this to our to our um, wins this season as well. So yeah, Mill Smith. I don't want to say too much because it feels like he's been a bit underwhelming, and it's really, that's really I think that's harsh. Towards the end, that's what it feels like. Yeah, maybe season. maybe it's recency bias to that, but for me, I think I think seven's fair enough. A fair enough rating for him. Surprise package for me. I mean, we knew Martinelli and Saka have talent, but with Emil Smith Rowe, I was dubious. I knew he was a decent young player, but I wondered whether the ten shirt and the whole new contract and all of that hype would mm. get to him. But it didn't. He's actually excelled for me as a backup to the first team. And that's how I'm rating him. As a backup to the first team, getting double digits in goal. Oh. I'm sorry, but seven, it has to be minimum for him. Yeah, I'd agree on that. But then I think I gave Odegaard a seven. I think Odegaard's been better than him. So I think you're, you're probably onto something here, Rob. Because you gave Saka nine, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And Odegaard eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you see one as a backup and one as a starter? Or do you see them both as the same? I get exactly what you're saying. I'm, you, just, I, I, yeah, I'm going to go eight for Smith. I think he started the season on fire. Yeah. You know, he's kind of burnt out towards the end of the season. We know he's been a player that's been carrying a lot of injuries last year, this year. Yeah. It looked like that sort of caught up with him towards the end. They were having to manage him, bring him off the bench loads of times. But, you know, his goal-scoring record from midfield has been exceptional. Yeah. That's one of the, you know, that's one of the best in the league. What were they saying? For, for, they, for, for a player coming from midfield at that age. Are well, they not saying about the best ball carrier? Wasn't Carragher saying at one point in the season as yeah, well? Bursting, yeah, like, yeah, bursting. Yeah, bursting to the man. England squad. Yeah, man, great no. season. What do I give? Great it? season. Yeah, seven, seven's fine. I'm gonna I give it. Seven's good, yeah. Seven's All right, good, uh, yeah. Sambi Lokonga. Oh, can we? No, not you know, not really? always featured. But there was a period that he did. He he was playing. He came in and he was the main guy when uh, Partey dropped out. He has played quite a few games this season. Has he? Uh... Where are you going? 
I don't know, I'm, I'm stuck with the performance against, it's just unfair, but yeah, against Forrest, it was Forrest, wasn't it? He was, he was there. I, I'm, it's hard to rate him, Lokonga. Um, listen, five, just average. Okay. I think, yeah, going forward, he's, he's going to have a career here. Three. Turkish. Three, similar to Tavares, it's just an underwhelming signing for me. Um, I know he's young, he's not that young. Um, he comes in on rave reviews, yeah, you know, big. company says he's captain, he, he could be the next Yaya Torre. And people got to remember, he's coming as a Guendouzi replacement. Guendouzi was playing a hell of a lot of minutes for us in the previous mm. two seasons. So you'd expect the same for this Lukonga, not to hear he's not ready when he does play. So for me, this season, free, because when called upon, he doesn't seem ready for it. And I can't rate you any higher than that. In fact, it should, it should probably be a two, but because Tavares is a three, I'm going to say three. Five. I think there's a really talented player there. I think mm. Arteta used him as at the in the Partey role, and we talked about how long it took Partey to really get used to it. Um, I just think it's a really tough ask. Um, I think he's more of a box to box player, but five because I I think he's shown some talent personally. I think he's a boxer. I noticed when I was watching him play in the Everton mm. game, he looked much better playing that sort of box to box role. I want to see him shoot more. You know, these midfielders who don't shoot is just lay off. I think he, he plays like a young player, plays with a bit of fear. There's still, I want to see him expressing himself more. Um, but you can see there's a talent there, mm. I agree with you, so I'll go for a five as well. Uh, Mohamed El Neni, who featured a lot, came in, played a lot of games this season when Partey was out. Yeah, when you, when you see the performances we've had from him in the last month or two, you wonder why it took so long for Arteta to trust him and now he's signing a new deal. I'll give him a... Oh, this is a tough one. I'm realising I've got my previous ones wrong, you know. I'll, I'll give him a seven. And as Turkish said, judging him as a backup who's come in to do a job, I'll give him a seven. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'll say it now, I'm regretting my Odegaard and Smith Rowe ones. I think they're a bit low. Uh, so, yeah. Seven. Um, I'm going to go s- mm, oh, seven as well. Yeah, I'm going to go with seven as well. Um, Surprise, surprise ability, if that's even that's not a word. But for me, I didn't expect him to be so good when he came in and he just slotted in perfectly. We always speak about his professionalism and so you're hearing about a new deal. I think he deserves an extension on it. Oh, and only for me, yeah, he's come in and done a really good job this season. Really has contributed to a lot of our success. Yeah, you get what, you, what it says on the tin about Henny. You're not going to expect him to come in and change the world. <clears> but what he did come in and I do feel. is put back that top four race on track and... Um, that's, that's the real period I can rate him for. And as a backup, coming in, minimal expectation, seven. Yeah, I'll give him a seven as well. I think he's been the model professional. It's come in, hasn't been, weren't figuring, came in, was brilliant. He you know, played a lot of football in, for Egypt in the African Cup of Nations, but came when called upon, came in, done a very, very good job. Um, and that's what you want from players that uh, are in your squad. So seven yeah. for me. Um, next one, Turkish, Granite Xhaka. <laughs> I knew my man was going to... Uh, after, uh, after party, I thought he was going to go to Xhaka. Then he went to Odegaard. I thought he's setting me up. He tried not to, he tried not to... Came to Cecil first for every single one. Like, he went and looked over to Xhaka. Yeah, no, best place to start. All right, cool. With Xhaka, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm about to hear he's had a good season. I'm about to hear he's been solid the majority. For me, it's been an average again. A good game for, for Xhaka, in my opinion, is an average game for a midfielder at a big club. Um, so Xhaka, for me, this season... A bit of the same old, a bit of the same old, a couple of red cards in there, a couple, well, a penalty given away against Man City, cost us points here and there, cost us games here and there. But he hasn't been as inconsistent. The, the best thing I can say about him is he hasn't, his performances haven't been as inconsistent as they have in the past. They've been consistently average. So for me, five. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with Granite Xhaka. I'm going to say five as well. Honestly, I was going to go six. I was going to go six because he has. If we look at consistency, you're right. He's, his performances over the whole season, maybe I was pushed to a six. But again, the red cards and and yeah, the penalties and they cost us a lot. So for me, I think five. So I think average. I don't think it's that's not a bad rating either. I've, I've liked so five this season. Yeah, five. I've liked Granite Jacket this season. See how we marked Rob Holding down for that one game against Spurs quite a lot. The two-footed challenge against City that was completely unnecessary. The red card against Liverpool when we already we're up against it and the penalty against Man City as well at the Emirates otherwise th- those are the reasons why I'm marking down otherwise I think he's probably been an 8 but I'll give him a 6 
mm. because I just think those moments are crucial. But mm. I think mm. he's actually been very good for us. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you, James. I'll probably give him a seven. I think he's had a good season. Yes. But it's those moments, and those are big moments mm. that cost us. And remember, the one when he, he got sent off against Liverpool, mm. you could say that cost us. Yeah, I mean, all right, we held on and that, but then that, you know, what if we, they were poor that night? What if we had 11 men? We could have won that game. We could have went through, right? Because, you know, the second round wouldn't have meant as much. You know what I mean? We could have yeah. got a result he there. He missed games because of and it. And then he missed three well, games, games after forward, that. Yeah. That was in a period when we were ready. It was short in midfield. Yeah. Cost us big time. You yeah. know what I mean? And he does that too much. When he was on the pitch playing, he's pretty consistent. I think yeah, yeah, probably the best is... I've seen him play since he's been here. Yeah. Yeah, but I agree, I agree with that. always got those little cards in him and, and the indiscipline. Um, Lacazette. Oh, five. Um, listen, he's not. He hasn't contributed anywhere near enough goals, but he's clearly asked to drop into. He had midfield. a period where he was doing playing really well. Didn't so he? Yeah, he I think did. if you look December when the Aubameyang stuff happened up until March, I think we got a really good Lacazette, but not we got a very good team player, no, not, not a very goal good scorer. goal scorer. <laughs> yeah. um, and I and I'll always respect his hard work and his fight and his leadership and he wins you those penalties and those fouls and all that. Uh, but a five because because mm. because we ultimately need goals and that's might not be his fault. But all right. so, so. yeah, I'm gonna go with five as well. I'm gonna go with five as well. I gave Jacker a five, average. I think Lacazette has been again average is a bit a bit better than from that period. I think a bit better. But for me, a five not enough goals contribution for him. Um, the hold up play was good. He, after Bamiang left, there was a lot of pressure on him. I think he rose to it and made the team play better. Uh, we got better. Through, yeah, we through. absolutely got better so that, when Lacazette so came that, in. So I credit him for that. But <clears throat> can't go any more. We didn't. Mm. Yeah, we can't go any more than that because Eddie came in and, and then, the same amount of goals as him. Too, <laughs> um, uh, again, too which, nice which on Laka. Um, couple of years ago, I said he was our player of the season. But he hasn't scored over 15 goals coming into this season, and this season's been his poorest output yet. Four goals, two penalties all season. He's been given chance after chance. He's experienced, and then to come out, and I know this has nothing to do with his on-the-pitch stuff, but to come out and say, you know, I want Champions League football next, there's no accountability there to who you are, my guy. So, yes, people might think that he's come and he's aided the play, flicking left, flicking right, but when Eddie's coming, we've also scored goals. We've also found moments of consistency. So, we've lack of three. I'm tempted to say two with Laka because of his experience, but three. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, disappointed. I'm going to give him a five because I feel that um, there was periods of the season that he played really well. Got took out. I've, I, I got took out towards the end of the season. Um, his style of play doesn't suit what Mikel Arteta was trying to do. It, well, it did for a bit because yeah, he yes. was doing the hold-up play and that, but he he lacks a bit of pace. And I think I agree with Turkish. Your striker goals, man. Five goals in That's a season. Insane. A season for four. Yeah. four. It's very, very poor. You can't um, rate him higher than the amount of goals he scored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get, I, 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 I'm gonna give him a five. I'm gonna give him a five. I'm thinking, but uh, you know, <laughs> the goals output has been poor. Because be, the reason why I'm giving him a five is a lot of the season though is asked to do really unselfish work, hold yeah. up playing that for everybody else. But yeah, captain five. Side a lot as well. Um, Pepe, Turkish. Oh blood. Pepe, um, I'm disappointed in him. Um, again, uh, on the pro side for him, I don't believe he's had consistent chances in the team. Mm. But I also get why he hasn't had consistent chances in the team. Cause he, what, he deserves more, but then when he comes in, he doesn't deliver, exactly. does he? Exactly. He'll come in once against Wolves and win us the game from 1-0 down. He'll come in against Aston Villa when we're 1-0 up and he nearly costs us the points. Um, and that happens far too often for mm. me with Nicolas Pepe. Can't depend on him. 100%. And I think it's time to move on from him. Um, off the bench this season, he hasn't really done much apart from that one Wolves game. So with Pepe, <laughs> with Pepe, I'm going to say three as well. I'm going to go two for Pepe. Um, in the cup, he did all right. But for me, I, I've had, had my doubts on Pepe from the beginning and I tried, I really tried with people saying, oh, you're Pepe. I tried and give him a chance. And work, but I just, it's, it never really worked here at Arsenal for him. Um, I'm sure there is a good player in there somewhere, but for Arsenal and this season in a, as a whole, getting opportunities when, when he's come off the bench, just not taking them, hasn't been consistent at all. Um, yeah, hasn't been, good, hasn't been good for me. So two for me, Rob. Yeah, three. I think there's a talented player there. I don't think we've used him in the right position slash role, but it has been a pretty horrific season for him. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. I think there's a real talent there. I'm going to go for a three as well. I think 
again, I'm not sure this guy's been managed right. In the, yeah. They, she should have started way more games than me. Um, don't get me wrong, Saka's been excellent, so it was hard sometimes. Uh, still think, you know, when you just expect a guy to come in 10 minutes here, five minutes there, you know. Yeah, it's not enough. You know, he's just... I feel like it's but, an unfair assessment on him, but we've got to assess Yeah, him. but I've just got to assess on what I saw this season. It's got to be a free. <laughs> yeah. um, Eddie and Ketcher. Hmm. I'm going to say six because um, first half of the season, he was doing his job in the cup. You know, that was larger when he played. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the few who thought his sub appearances were better than people were giving him credit for. Everton, fi Ev Everton, everyone fixated on that Everton game when he missed the big chance, mm. massive chance. You know, he makes his money putting that in the back of the net. But he also put three on a plate for other players and made a real impact in that game. And I think he's had that a few times a season. Mm -hmm. Then he gets his opportunity to start. Dare I say he took it. Played well against United, scored the goals at the bridge, gets us back in the top four race. And then you look at the games where it's gone wrong, Spurs and Newcastle, don't really think that's been his fault. I think he's worked hard and tried to link up and do what he can. So yeah, six. It's been a very weird season for yeah, him. Six is six is the rate, and I gave Lacazette five. I think six is fair. He he spoke about before getting his opportunity. Like, Just give me a run in the side, and I'll prove prove I can do it. He did. I think he'll be happy with himself as well for the end of the season. I know he didn't get top four, but I think it's time for him to move on and go maybe go to a different club. But I think he'll be happy, and I agree. Six is is a fair rate. He took his chance, and I'm not even dare to say James. He definitely took his opportunity and took it well. Um, mm. Yeah, fair play to Eddie and Kea this season. Yeah, six for me as well. I think, I think early season, all you had to judge him was domestic cups mm. um, or the league cup. Yeah. And he done all right. Yeah, he got a hat-trick yeah, in, hat in one of those yeah. games. Towards the end of the season, we needed, we needed goals. He came in, he got five goals in the last, what, six games? So for me, six out of ten is fair. Mm. I, I, I'm going to agree with the six. I think the only reason I want to give, I want to give him a seven, but I still do remember that Everton game and that. And, but then the guy was saying, can I, you know, I'm unhappy because I don't get a run. I want, if I get a run, I can show you that I can. And he proved that. He's one of our best players towards the, the last part of the season. Yeah. And, you know, I'm now, I've now gone from, I would just get rid of him, to now saying that he wouldn't be my main striker. And I, I know this is a sticking point because he wants to be that main guy. He's still not my main guy, but I would definitely have him in my team now. I'd definitely like say, because I feel we need three strikers and I would definitely go out and say, keep him and then go and get two top strikers and he'd be part of that three because there's something there in that play. I was, he, 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 he really proved a lot to me between, you know, from when he came in. I, I, I was really impressed. Can I add something, Robbie, just very quickly on Eddie because I, I think his finishes, he makes them look easy. And actually, they're much better finishes than he gets credit for. You know the Leeds goal when Marte cuts it back to... How many players have we seen sky it? And he just keeps his balance and rolls it in. The goal's against Chelsea. The goal um, yesterday against Everton. It's from a set piece, but he just gets his head and just flicks it. And it's it. Like, they're much better finishes than I think mm. we've credited him for. So, yeah. Okay. Well done to Last player on my list is Gabriel Martinelli. I'll start. Um... Martinelli, I, he's a better player than we've seen this season, but I think he's had a good season. Um, he came in with, when Oba had that controversy with Arteta. Um, he hit the ground running. He's had difficult months in between. But even in his difficult months, he causes problems. And that's what I like. You, know, you can have off games, but cause problems. Be a, be a nuisance, be a pest. And he always is. Whether it's a yeah. good game or a bad game, that is the bare <clears throat> minimum you get from Martinelli. And at that age... That is, that is a great asset to have. So for me, Martinelli um, gets a six. I know it sounds harsh, because, but it's because I expect... Well, we know, what, we know everything from you is harsh. Yeah, right? yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> They're used to it by now. It's been 45 minutes. But yeah, six because of the period in between. But he's someone that's always going to give you a six minimum on the pitch. And for me, a six is above average. So that's mm. a good starting block. What would I, would I give Smith Rowe? Would I give Smith Rowe? I give him a six or seven. I need to. He Martinelli's higher than Smith Rowe. I think I gave um, Smith Rowe a six. I'm gonna give Martinelli a seven. Martinelli's been. I, I've well, always, Smith Rowe's got ten goals though. I know, but I think Martinelli. It, that, that's mad. That it's a bit of mirage with um, bit of mir a mirage sometimes with Martinelli, and he works so hard. He does. You know, we we love that. But goal didn't. Goals goals on on he doesn't he score a lot of goals, goals, does he? Yeah. 
but I'll score a lot of goals, really. Yeah, I've liked Martinelli a lot this season. You're right. It's your rating. Yeah, yeah you're no, not me. trying to sway me there. Looking to people for what's yours? Um, seven. I'm gonna stick with seven. I like Martinelli. Right. I like him as a player. Yeah, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him an eight. And I know I'm such a weird guy, right? Because Smith Rowe has scored way more goals, had better output. There's something about Martinez. It's what Turkish said. He's always a pest. And not just like against Norwich at home or whatever. He, against Liverpool, caused Trent problems. Against City, it caused Cancelo loads of problems. North London Derby, when everyone was losing their heads, looked the only way we were possibly going to score in that game. And I know, listen, he needs to add more goals and assists to his game, but... I just think he's, you've always got a chance when Martinez on the pitch. Old Trafford, when it was all collapsing, he gets the assist for Odegaard and, and looked like he was making things happen. So I just think there's a... I've always felt, for all the talent we've got in this squad, I think he's got the highest ceiling. And I've thought okay. that for a while. So eight right. for me. I'll probably give him an eight as well because I think he's had a good season. But my only downside with him, he needs to score more goals. Mm. I, I still would like to see him play down the middle more. You know I mean, I don't know why this season we didn't try that. We didn't, we, we, at no occasion, apart from, I think, right at the start of the season, the, like, the Brentford game or yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea, game, yeah, right? Yeah. Why didn't we play him down the middle? We, I think yeah. this guy's good in the air as well. We just didn't get to see that because he was just always played out um, in the same position all the time. But I like him. Um, he's a quality, quality player. He's going to get better. And I think he's had a good season, but he needs more goals. I'll give him an eight. Final thing we've got to do is rate the manager. Huh. And we'll start with you. Uh, five. Wow. Five, which is fine. Um, I didn't expect... Five is fine. Well, that's the... That, as in, that's the five <laughs> equals he did fine. <laughs> oh. Five is fine. Five is fine. Five is fine. <laughs> Um, because I give him major credit for getting us into a top four race I didn't expect us to be in. Um, but it still remains to be seen where things went wrong in January. But to let Maitland-Niles go that early, leave us that short for a key month, um, and then go into the rest of the season with that depleted a squad. Listen, that might not be on him, but at the moment mm. it looks like it was. So, five. five. Six for me. Um, for Mikel Arteta, um, yeah, th th there was a lot of stuff I liked to clear out, the change in the culture, Project Youth, which they've sold us this season, but we relied on it for a period of time. It really did work, bringing the fans together um, and all that. I've really liked, there has been some questionable That's true. moments with, with yeah, it's been, it's been questionable moments with Mikel Arteta though, I'm, I can't brush over them. January is the main one, and I don't know who that goes down to. I don't know if it is the board, the Cronkies or Arteta. And, that is the main one where I think it's slipped and what. Just what, a bit like Xhaka, sense. just some of his errors mm. for me have been criminal. Like Xhaka at left back against Brighton when everyone said, don't take him out of position just because we lost Partey and we lost our left back. He does it. Mm. The Tottenham game, put men on Son, don't go gung ho, don't just be sensible. That's what we do. Like those moments that you think, and, and you've got to wonder why such a young group, every time we've got to play an evening game under the lights, seem to capitulate under the pressure. Now, listen, I could then talk for another 10 minutes about the things he's done well. Well, don't. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get to... Uh, it's Turkish. nice to be loved and wanted. Let's get to Turkish, right? I had some more to say as well. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. So you got, you got seven. Six. Six. Five. five four. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> four. Yeah, for me, I mean, listen, he, he's invested heavily in, in the defence. He hasn't really invested into the attack yet. Mm. We've conceded more goals than we did year on year and our creativity is still a big problem. Um, January for me was telling. He called January fantastic. Um, and towards the end of the season with two games to go, top four is in our hands and we lose it. So that's all the cons. The pro for me is that any time this team does face adversity, they bounce back for him. It doesn't seem like yeah. they're, they're down in Score. tools. So exactly. that is a big pro on his side. But again, all those negatives for me far outweigh it. Four. Yeah, I, I, I'll give him a six because it's mainly to do with things like he brought the fans together, mm. got them behind the team. He recognised that there was a disconnect. There was. Um, I've seen at times a good pattern of play, good football played by the team. I do think he would be better if he had better personnel. Um, and I think at the start of the season when I looked at it, I thought to myself, this team, yeah, we'd be lucky to get top six. That was even before a ball was kicked and he's achieved fifth. But 
like you guys said, I mean, we should have got top four and he messed it up. It's not just, you know, people say Tottenham. The Tottenham game, the Newcastle game, when we came back after the international break, the Palace game, the, 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 the Everton game before yeah. Brighton, Palace, Southampton. Not. As a matter of fact, we lost 13 games. Same as last season. Nine away from home. Not good enough when you're only playing one thing a week, no European competition. We got knocked out of the FA Cup mm. very, very early. There's a lot of things. I mean, mm. it's five on six. I'm, I'm going to give, as I said, because he finished higher than I expected, that's why I'm giving him the six, but there's a lot of, and then when you put into the, the January thing, just offloading loads, I mean, to me, it was criminal, and I've said this at the time, to offload a Bamiyang and not replace him. Criminal. Madness. I, I still don't understand it. No midfield, we didn't, we, he, uh, you know, um, he said we needed a midfield player, didn't get him. Honestly, so it's been really, if he's looking at the season and assessing it, he has to look at it and say he made some poor decisions during that season that cost us, but he's a young manager. I'm not sure, is it him or is it the board? That's what worries me. This is a big, big summer for Mikel Arteta in which we have to bring in the right players. We need a lot of players in this team and we need a lot of quality. So I want to see him work with some better quality and see how he gets on. Um, the fans are behind him and that's the main thing right now. But he's got to deliver next yeah, year. Six. So this, those are our uh, season ratings for the players. Um, thank you, James. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you, Turkish. What did you guys rate the players at? Um, as I said, in the comments below, give us your ratings from 1 to 10. Who was your player of the season? Your player of the season, yeah, by the way? To answer. Gabriel. Hey, Saka. <laughs> what you do? Saka. Saka for me as I'm well. Glad you put right, um, but what is yours? Let us know. Subscribe here to AFTV. Like this video. And don't forget, keep it locked here throughout the summer transfer daily returning next week also we're going to be having shows right throughout the summer here on AFTV thanks and we'll see you on the next one shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk subscribe to us on YouTube follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok Snapchat and Twitch we've got content for every platform so check it out <laughs>